Hello guys, welcome back with Wasi Banda. Today I'll be reviewing with you a platform called Arrived Homes. It also goes by the name Arrived. Now, Arrived is a real estate crowdfunding platform that focuses on single family housing. It allows anyone to start investing in real estate from as little as $100 and get a return of investment in dividends only, something between 5 to 7%. Of course, this is additional to the appreciation. They cannot for sure tell you exactly what the appreciation is because the property will change over time. But this year has been a great year for real estate, so the appreciation has literally been through the roof. Now, the way this works is actually the team of arrived homes, they go out, they find properties that they believe is going to increase in value everywhere in the United States. And from one time to another, they buy a bunch of these houses, they fix them out, then they make them available on their platform where anybody can go in and start buying. Now, each one of these houses is available as a form of an LLC. So they incorporate every house in an LLC, then they have a series of houses of LLCs. Now, I want to highlight to be like uh, arrived homes actually bring a lot of properties from time to another. So every time they have a listing, it's not surprising to find anything between 20 to 40 properties listed at one time. The crazy thing is, most likely if you see 40 properties being listed, come in two weeks later, you probably will not be able to find a single property to invest in. And the reason for that is there's a huge amount of investors backing the platform. Now, arrived homes have actually a lot of uh, credibility between investors. And a lot of this has to do because it's backed by many big investors. So some of the investors who actually invest in arrived homes, Jeff Bezos, which is Amazon CEO, uh, founder, sorry, not CEO. We have the CEO of Uber. So these are big names who actually backed up arrived homes. And you will notice they have a lot of liquidity. And this is actually good for arrived homes because they are able to scale up pretty quick. Unfortunately, not uh, good for the other real estate apps who are trying to keep up with the company. Now, Arrived Homes technically is more unique than most of the other uh, real estate crowdfunding platform, and mainly because they are focused on single family housing. So unlike Fundrise, where you can just give them your money and they go ahead and choose a property for you, manage it ETC and just pay you on a quarterly basis, in Arrived Homes, you get to pick the property. You choose which property you want, in which city, in which state. So it's really cool from that perspective. And you don't have to manage it because this is a part that, you know, if you buy a house, you're going to have to deal with it. This is going to take that portion away. So if anything, it really gives you the best of the both world. Now, overall, I like the concept of arrived homes, but it isn't perfect. So, yeah, they have a lot of good stuff. They have a really good customer support that you can reach them out through either chat or email. Now, they claim to have a phone number, but unfortunately, don't count on it. They don't have the team to support it. Now, they have a lot of other good stuff to be said about Arrived. One of these stuff is definitely transparency. Arrived Homes is actually very transparent of how things work and what kind of fees should you expect. I guess on the con side is if you try to invest in Arrived Homes, you need to keep in mind their fees are not one of the most promising. They have 8% uh, property management, 1% annual fees. So overall, they are not the most competitive when it comes to fees. But to be fair, honestly, I personally don't care. And the reason for that, if I go buy a property today, I probably want to get, get 4 to 5% uh, in uh, ROI on yearly basis from dividend only, they are doing better than this already for me by managing it themselves. And the reason for that is the properties they are selecting are focused on getting a high return. Now, there's actually a way for you to tell which property is going to pay you how much. So if you go visit their website, they are not going to tell you this property will give you 5% or 6% while still going in initial public offering. But what they're going to let you know is once everybody finished buying, they're going to tell you exactly what the dividend is and uh, how, how much it's estimated now, ETC. So there's some information are not being provided until later on. Stay with me until the end of this video and I'm going to tell you exactly how can you figure out which property will be with the highest dividend if you are interested just in the passive income part of this. Now, another thing that may set arrived homes a little bit different than most of the other companies is they are actually focusing on long-term investment. So they are buying these properties and their target to keep them in from five to seven years. 
So they have no intention to sell them any earlier. And this means if you are gonna invest, keep an eye that this is a long-term investment. Now, in the first six months, they don't have any redemption. So if you buy, I don't know, a thousand dollar in one house and next month say, you say, you know, I need to sell it out, I need to use the money, they're gonna tell you, we cannot do that for you. Now, after six months, you can actually reach them out through the boat and they will try to help you sell it. Now, there is no information about the fees or how this portion work. I personally am not interested, but I would highly recommend for people who are to take their time and to check with them. Now, aside from this portion, they don't have a secondary market, which is really a disadvantage. They claim in their SEC filling that they intend to do it in the long term, but as of the time I'm making this video, they do not have an SEC filling. So if I go, uh, they don't have a secondary market. So if I have shares and I want to sell it, the only place I will be able to sell it even after six months will be the company itself. So for me, that's a disadvantage, but again, it's a long-term investment, so I'm keeping that stuff in mind. And again, based on the speed that appreciation being going on in the last few years, I understand why would people be more focused on the appreciation portion. Now, as far as I write, I like to have its own pros and cons. And I'm going to go a little bit deeper in this once I jump on uh, my PC in a second. I have invested in five different properties, so I want to show you guys what should you expect going forward. Once you get, once you start investing, what your information you will see regarding your property and how your dashboard will actually look like. So I'm going to go ahead and jump on my PC in literally a second and show you all of this information. Now, one thing I want to highlight also I like about Arrived Homes is actually if when I give them the money, I invest in a property. As soon as I give them the money, I don't have to worry about ever getting stuff back or doing stuff in my own. So they send me the dividend di directly to my bank account, just like Fundrise allow me, which is really super cool feature. So all you have to do is worry about initiating the first payment. Dividends come back to your bank account when they choose to sell eventually. In five to seven years, again, the decision will not be yours as much as it's theirs. But when they do sell the houses, what's going to happen is they're going to return for you the money that you actually earned in appreciation at one time. So you cannot get that appreciation until the property sell. And they will send it to your bank account. But the best part is they are not charging you any fees for the appreciation. So that's actually a very good uh, thing to be told about them. Now, before I jump, I want to highlight one important announcement for people who did not watch my previous video. We are having a giveaway going on right now on our channel. Every Friday of November, we are giving $50 worth of cryptocurrency in our channel. All you have to do, if you are a subscriber, go to my Evergrow video, which you can find it through our channel, both in the information card and the description. Leave a comment there in order to enter our giveaway. We don't have many people who actually entered, so your chances to win is pretty high as of the time I'm making this video. Now, let me jump into my PC and show you guys what should you expect with Arrived Homes. So once you sign up to Arrived Homes and you guys are more than welcome to uh, choose uh, or check my uh, affiliated link with Arrived Homes. I'm not, this video is not sponsored by them, but if anybody go ahead and use that link, we would highly appreciate it. It's a great way for you to support the channel. Now, uh, once you sign up, this is what you guys are gonna see. You will literally see an option if you click on invest, you will see reserve the next property, and they're gonna see a lot of the old sold properties. And again, they have like a gazillion of these here. I think you can keep going on. I don't, I'm not sure if they are showing all the properties here, but I don't believe so. But you can see a lot of the previous ones. So they're giving you a good examples. Now I can come here and click, hey, I am interested in the next property. And actually you will want to do this. And the reason for that is you want them to notify you when new properties are being listed. So I can click on reserve share and say, I want 500, 2000. Again, there's no obligation to buy. It's very important to understand that reserving a property there is no guarantee they are not obligated to sell you or anything as a matter of fact you can reserve it by the time you come in somebody already bought everything right because you joined or like you check the website three days later so this is just like more of getting interest my recommendation if you are interested make the reserve like put the reserve just so you get notifications that there's a property now these are some of the previous ones that's i think this was sold out just like last month when you come here, you can find a lot of information about the property, four bedroom, blah, 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 square feet, how many investors are interested, etc. 
and they're going to show you information again one of the things i like really about uh, arrived homes is the amount of details they provide investors is super cool again now one of the things that you need to keep in mind they are not paying the whole amount in cash so if anything they're actually buying a uh, portion i think usually they try to keep it under around 40 percent in equity in cash this is what we actually will pay uh, or buy and the rest will be financed so this is another good thing because if it's financed from the bank it means your ownership is increasing every month because they are taking a percentage of the rent and paying back the bank so that's actually another good thing which means you are not just owning the appreciation you are owning both appreciation and the equity of the bank that's getting out because that loan is now turning into equity and they highlighted for you again i believe all of them are five to seven years you they i'm not really sure how they're getting the information here but i think they are integrated with zillow this is how they are able to show the information because i am seeing this updated every quarter so this is a good information most uh, shares are ten dollar the only difference is if they have a more expensive house they will just have more shares so your opportunity to catch one of these are higher now this is the usually post for you the last quarter so for the last quarter this is how much rent how much operation cost and this explanation for everything so i highlighted when it comes to uh, fees expenses etc they are very clear about it they did not charge any annual fees yet because well they literally just own the property uh, etc so you can find all the information here common information i'm not gonna go through all of this but I want to show you guys my portfolio because this is really what matters. Now, one thing you probably noticed here, it's not talking anything about dividend. There's no easy way to tell. This is going to give me 7%. This is going to give me 5 But I'm going to give you a good trick to actually figure out which one is giving higher or lower. Now, let me first go to my portfolio because this is very important. So I signed up, I think, I was, uh, to the platform maybe three months ago, but they did not have available property then. And then they ended up listing few. I think that was last month. Uh, no, probably somewhere in the end of September. And I actually bought a uh, five share, or not five share, technically $100 in five different property, and I got my first dividend. Now you realize, even though I bought in the end of the third quarter, I got $7 in a uh, dividend which means i got a dividend even though i just purchased the property and the reason for that this property had special dividend they actually purchased these houses back in june and they rented out but they did not uh, they collected rent etc so they made a special uh, dividend only for people who made the purchase in one of these houses so in, instead of just waiting for another three months i got my first dividend immediately that was super cool every house here have its own name Luna, Holloy, Tucson, they give them cool names. Now you're going to see, this is the annualized dividend. Uh, how much I got for every each one of these houses. You can see the price of the house itself and how much it increased. Now, these prices are being updated on a quarter basis as well, showing you the new estimate. How much do they believe this house increased in value? So technically, because of the housing market is blowing up, every property I invested in, it increased in value. So um, I already gained appreciation, even though I just purchased the property like a month or so ago or two months. Ago. So it's like super cool overall. Now, if I click on one of these, I can get more information now that I already own the property, now that everything is sold out. Now, the, the equity here was only 90K. The um, remaining amount was borrowed from the bank. So it highlights for you also how these stuff work. Now, my recommendation, if you want to invest in some of these property and you are not sure, take your time, Google it. I mean, you, you can actually search it ETC. You don't have to just jump in and buy something just because, right? If, if they try to give you as much information about the area, if it's fixery ETC here, but you can also always go in and check like again they have a lot of different region i love this as a matter of fact is this a special announcement for you guys they are actually gonna planning to list properties this um by the end of this i guess week or beginning of next week they already announced it through email for people who made a reservation this is why i make reservation and one of the new market will be then uh, colorado and i'm looking forward for colorado i love that state so i'm really looking forward to buy uh, shares in some of the houses there now it's showing you again this interest bank etc zello as i highlighted you're going to find all the details you need here so far they actually did not even highlight how much is the dividend here for the public but if you go back in some of the older property you can actually find out how much each property paid 
Now, here is the trick. If you want to find out which property will pay the highest dividend. Now, the property that will pay highest dividend actually is the property that are sold on the lower end. So, if the house is around 150 to 200k, the chances is they will actually pay you much uh, higher dividend compared to a property that worth 350 or 400k. Now, on the exit change, you, the appreciation would be the opposite. So you have to choose, really. Again, they are not highlighting this. They are not saying this out loud. But if you go to the older properties back then, you can actually find this information I'm telling you guys from older properties that been with them for a couple of quarters. So if it, it comes down to really to you. What's your priority? Do you want to buy higher dividend now or you prefer higher appreciation later? So the more expensive the house, the lower the dividend. The cheaper the house, the higher the dividend. So... Uh, no, that, yeah, so keep this stuff in mind when you try to pick. Uh, for me personally, I'm interested in both. So I am looking in the properties based on I like the property, I like the design, I feel I will live there, the area itself, all this stuff. So I'm not just, you know, investing in every property because they said so. Um, if you go down here, there's also people who are reviewing this when they invest. You can find my, my this is actually my <laughs> my own review i highlighted i'm investing here i want to check this i want to review it on my youtube channel and here is me delivering on that i'm actually reviewing it on my channel now few things i want to highlight here the transaction will tell you which what is the state of your uh prop uh, trans, uh what you call it shares so if you click on transaction here the moment you go ahead and Buy, but uh, or buy some of the shares it actually will go into five different state they are not going to take the money from your bank account until you already have it completed again they are not going to ask you for bank information or whatever until you try to start buying so for now if I, like if you just sign up they are not going to ask for any banking information they have a knowledge base here q and a etc you are more than welcome to check it out their shared support available through the business hours so feel free to chat with them if they are out of the of, uh, of the chat hours they will just send an email for you later so that's another option they have the phone here but again i'm not really personally counting on it overall arrived is a friendly platform it's definitely a wealthy band approved so congratulations arrived homes i personally plan to start investing more again i love platform I, I love reads overall but it's a great opportunity for me to diversify a lot of us definitely want to go ahead and own specific houses in specific areas so for example some of the target area i really want to own pieces of Colorado, right? Uh, I'm looking for Chicago very much. I don't believe they have Chicago here yet or New York. But these areas, the prices are blowing up like crazy. California as well. So once we go to the main cities, I cannot go in, buy a house in New York City for a couple of million dollars. But if I can actually own a share or a couple of shares in that one, I would definitely appreciate how crazy the houses in these cities are increasing. And again, some of these areas are just gross areas. They will increasing like crazy. I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, please go ahead and hit that like button. It helps our channel a bunch. Thank you guys and stay tuned with Wilsey Banda.